During the holiday season, the kitchen is the heart of the home and the place people congregate. That's why now is the time to consider updating your home, especially your kitchen. To give us some helpful tips, we are joined by celebrity designer Tanya Nyack, host of the new series, The Great Christmas Light Fight. Tanya, thank you so much for joining Yay. me this morning. Thank you. How are you today? I'm great. Okay, Tanya, we've seen you all over the place. I remember you did some work on <laughs> Restaurant Impossible. And so, right, really, still doing it. I feel like you're the perfect person to ask, you know, is redesigning our homes, updating our homes, is it really that difficult? I mean, it really can be if you make it difficult. You know, it depends the scope of what you want to get done. But right now, because it's the holidays, if you want to make a few fixer uppers, a few changes before you have guests over, I have a few great ideas on what you can do that's affordable, easy enough that whether you do it yourself or you hire someone, it's all within one visit. It's not like somebody's going to start by tearing up a floor and then leave and you're not sure when they're coming back. So I'm excited to tell you. You ready for them? <laughs> I'm ready. Show us, please. I need all help. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing that I think is really important is changing out your sink and your faucet. The reason I do this is because a lot of my design philosophy is to make sure that the function is just as important as the way it looks. So one of my favorite sinks that I love, it's by Moen, it's called the Low Profile Divide. And the reason I love it is because it's big and it has a lot of room just like a farm sink does, but the divider in the middle is lower. Heather, have you, I don't know if you've ever seen anything like this one before because this was something new for me and I thought, oh my gosh, where have you been all my life? This divider makes it easy to do cookie sheets. It makes it easy to do big pots and pans, but it still keeps things separate so that you have your dirty dishes on one side and then you have your area where you can wash your fruits and veggies on the other. The other thing in the kitchen that is somewhat manageable to update and adds value to your kitchen is your faucet. Everybody sees the faucet. The faucet gets used numerous times throughout the day, so it's important that it's functional. So this one has a nice mobility range, this like reflex technology here, but the arch is really high. This is called the notch pull down faucet by Moen. And you can really get in there underneath with your dishes and your pots and pans. But one thing that's nice about it, that it's not just utilitarian. Like it actually has a pretty look to it. So it looks like it's sculptural, has this nice detail in the handle here. So it does become sort of that jewelry piece in your kitchen, that little bling, if you will. So those are a couple of things. Okay, I love it. I love that it's functional, but also looks really great in our kitchen. So maybe on mm -hmm. that line, any kind of simple upgrades that are going to make our kitchens look really nice before our guests come over? Sure. I mean, you know, one thing that I love to do is take things and use them in a different way than they're probably originally intended for. So this here is a towel rack, something that you would use in your bathroom, for example, for your hand towel. Install it on the side of your cabinet. Hang your towels. This will also add a festive look if you do a pot holder or a decorative towel, but it's also functional and practical as well because it's opening up your countertop space. That's one of the number one things that people always tell me is that they don't have enough room on their countertop. So this is a nice way to address that. And then also if you're doing a lot of cooking, you can use a robe hook, something that you would normally have on the back of your closet door or on the back of your bathroom door and just hang your apron off of it. So there's a lot of really fun, easy things that you can do to spruce up your kitchen. I love it. These are all such great tips. Okay, Tanya, while I have you, I have to ask, you know, what's that one thing people always forget to kind of make sure that they have taken care of before the guests arrive? Well, people forget so many different things. One thing is a little tricky, I would say, extra seating. Think about your previous parties. Um, where do people congregate? Have a lot of seating, ottomans, whatever it is. People will sit anywhere. Um, candles throughout the house. You can put candles in the bathroom, in your family room, in the dining room. And if they have a nice scent to it, they're not only giving ambient light, but say it's cinnamon or pine, something that makes you feel like it is the holidays right now. So do all those little special touches that make your guests feel extra welcome. Well, Tanya, this is great. I feel like I'm actually ready to throw my holiday party now. Where can <laughs> we go? Ready? For? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere we can go for more design and uh, I don't know ideas yeah. if we need them. 
Oh, definitely. I mean, there's so many websites out there. One of the, my favorites, it's called build.com, and that's where I can actually purchase a lot of items like hardware or the sinks and the faucets that I showed you. Um, for inspiration, go to house or moen.com has great kitchen inspiration, um, Pinterest. You can even go to my website if you'd like, tanyanayak.com, and that I also have a ton of ideas on there as well. So lots of places. I'm headed there now, Tanya. Tanya, thank you so much for joining right. us this morning. <laughs> Thank you so much, Heather. Have a good one. You too. Now don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend, we'll be right back.